Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Breakfast at Tiffany's, where we love to shop 24-7. Today I made it into Burlington, and I'm going to look at the graphic t-shirts and end up at the shoes. So I'm starting over here. I usually start and look in the size small, but this time I'm going to look in the large and extra large to see what tops they have for summer. And I did notice um, they're starting to get in more sweatshirts. And in one of my last videos, I showed you some of those. And I didn't see the dressing rooms open here yet. So the dressing rooms aren't open yet. But one thing about Burlington, it's so big. The store is so big, so. The dressing rooms are way in the back of the store, so it's kind of like if you don't want to go in the back of the store anyway, then you're kind of like, oh, they're probably closed. I don't feel like walking all the way back there, but some stores are starting to open their dressing rooms, so that's good that things are getting back to normal. But what I like looking for at Burlington are graphic t-shirts like this one. It's super cute. And they're always getting new things in at Burlington, like real often. I like to uh, look at their shoes too. They always have really cute shoes. I noticed um, like if you have a really big foot, they get a lot of cute size 10s and 11s. And um, I like to look and see what they have even though I'm not a size 10 or 11 because they have so many cute shoes that size and it makes you wish they had them in your size too. But I feel like around my city there's kind of like a chill vibe going on i don't know if it's because the fourth of july is this weekend i felt like it would be more crowded like with people getting ready for the fourth of july i thought there would be maybe you know saturday there'll be more people out but i was kind of like liking it i kind of liked it because there wasn't a lot of traffic and Burlington was not real crowded and I don't like going to Burlington or Ross when it's really crowded because it's just um, people always want to look at exactly what you're looking at. So I thought in this video I would tell you some of my favorite YouTubers because I want to talk in my videos but I don't want to just say oh this is cute, this shirt's $7, this shirt's cute. It gets boring for you and me. So I'm going to tell you my um, favorite YouTubers that I've been watching lately. You'd probably be surprised at some of them. Um, one of them is CJ So Cool. I don't know if you guys watch him, but he's um, he went through a breakup with his girlfriend. And that's when his videos got really good because he goes out shopping all the time and he goes to like Neiman Marcus. He spends a lot of money like he says his budget's ten thousand dollars a day can you imagine and he said that's three hundred thousand dollars a month that he can spend on clothes so i've been loving his single life videos but he i think he's back with her now so their videos he hasn't posted in a while so he's one of my favorites and then i like the marilo the Mario twins. They are, um, they live in Los Angeles and 
I like their vlogs, like when they just take you along to their day. It's um, fun, you know, just to follow somebody along on their day. So I like watching them. And then I have always liked um, Family Forever vlogs. It used to be Sister Forever vlogs. I like that as a family channel. It's a mom and dad and two daughters. So those are my top three channels that I like to watch. I like to watch family channels usually. And I used to like um, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. But they, had, they don't really post a lot. And I like um, Trisha Paytas when she posts like uh, mukbangs where her and her boyfriend will go and see what um, like try a new food so those are my favorite channels to watch I don't usually watch shopping channels just because I want to keep my videos unique to me and I don't want to look at my competition and think I have to be like them because I want to do my own thing. I want to be who I am. So, those are my favorite YouTube channels. Maybe we share some in common. Possibly. But at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you why I came to Burlington. Um, what I was looking for when I came to Burlington. But it ended up being a fail, so... I didn't find what I was looking for it on this trip. at Burlington I'm gonna be looking for a new pair of sunglasses because as you can see mine are pretty much broken um, one of the thingies fell off <laughs> I don't know what the name of it is one of these things fell off so I got these sunglasses at American Eagle five years ago they have blue tint. They're really pretty. But it's time for a new pair. So at Burlington, I'm gonna look for some new sunglasses. 